Hello guys and welcome back to my let's play. Uh, this is going to be more of a guide because I feel like this deserves it because there's like no uh, There's like no freaking This was a pain in the ass. I had to look this up and there was no proper guide in YouTube of where to get all the ingredients With timestamp and all that so I decided to just do it myself because the wiki is really helpful, but it's always nice to have it all in one place. So, here's what I'm going to do. First off, you're going to see all of the ingredients being collected by me. Also, as you can see, I have a shit ton of money because I sold a lot of the items that I didn't need to make space in my inventory. But yeah. But yeah. Here are... I'm just going to give you the list of ingredients. Um, I'm going to be showing you me collecting the ingredients, uh, where they are, and etc. Uh, and where you can get them and other than that uh i once I, once that's over once i get all the ingredients shown i will be here uh and i will start making the recipes but yeah cutting to the cutting to the ingredients right now okay so ingredient number one here is an apple it is on boost mansion we just kind of have to go where the crates are and we just gonna have to break them. It's very simple. There, there's, uh, there's two here. Just gonna have to break uh, both the boxes, and you get two. And there you go. Okay. Next up is the cake mix. I already gonna show you where to get this, but I might as well show it again on the actual guide. So you have to go here where these uh, shy guys are. And there's going to be two of them around here that have a cake mix, as you can see. Uh, obviously, equip something that can instant kill weak enemies. Just kill both of them, and you can easily grab them. There we go. Okay, next is the gum nut. That's pretty easy, you guys already saw it, but yeah. You go to Goomba Village, and you hit this tree right here. There you go, and you get a gum nut. And if you need more, and obviously you're gonna need more than one, so if you want to just get more, you just go out, go back in, and then hit the tree again. Okay, uh, gum nut. Uh, next is a Koopa leaf. A Koopa leaf is uh, right here in these bushes in, in Koopa Town. There's one over here. And if you need more, there's one over here. If you need to reset, if you need more, you just kind of reset the area, and then you'll be able to, you know, get more. Next up is an egg, which is super simple to get. You just go here, click this tree, and you get an egg. You have to go back and forth between the area to get more, but that's it. Okay, a strange leaf. That one is a little more annoying to get than the other ones. Uh, you have to go to Boost Mansion to the outside area. And click this tree right here. And if you need more, you again, you just kind of go out of the area, come back, and get more. Coconuts are super simple to get. All you have to do is just go to the Yoshi's Island and pretty much smack like almost any of the earlier trees, like just like this one. And yeah, again, if you need more, go back and forth of the area, and you'll get more. Next up is a Waka Spump, which you would think that would be harder to get considering how much they heal you, but no. All you have to do is exit this entire area, and then through the train, go here, smack this thing, ignore him, grab it, and there you go. And you just repeat that when it, how much as you need. Okay, stinky herbs are pretty easy to get as well. You just kinda have to go to flower fields, uh, and then... You can actually get two in one in one in one run without having to exit the area. Uh, there's one over here. You just gonna well first ignore the enemies obviously, and there's one over here. And then down a little a little to the south, there is another one that you can get. There you go. You can get uh, both bolt shrooms and super shrooms f from the area next to the harbor, the shop next to the harbor. You can just buy them. So there you go.
Dry fruits I were probably one of the most annoying ones to get because you have to... I think the more reliable way to get them is to get them from enemies. Uh, there might be some on trees that I'm not so sure about, but honestly, just equip something that auto-kills enemies and follow this path that I'm showing you. Uh, they drop from the pokies uh, in order to bandits, you really don't need them. So, over here in this area there are two, so you kinda just you know, spin into them and then you hope that one of the uh, dry fruit uh, spawns. And in this next area there is a bunch of them, so just gonna get, get as many of them as you can, uh, as you need to. And if you need to restart, exit through the pipe and come back in. The, uh, the mushroom, the fire flower, and the honey syrup can be purchased from here, from the first shop in Toad Village. So you can just get all three from here. You can just buy them as much as you need, they are very cheap, so yeah. The ice potato is actually one of the weirder ones to get because it only appears once you sleep at the inn. For example, you're gonna see me enter and it's not there. But you just kinda take a nap and once you do, the item will appear. If you need more, just exit the area, come back in, take another nap and it will reappear. Okay, yeah, the melons might be one of the most complicated ones to get, but there is, it's still not that hard. All you have to do is cook basically any kind of meal. As you can see, I have two bland, two bland meals with me. That, that, those are good enough. But yeah, this uh, Yoshi right here will trade you any meal for a melon. So there you go. Uh, as you can see, he will give me a melon for that. Drive Pasta is another one that you can just buy on a shop right here on uh, Dry Dry Outpost. You go to the shop and there are there right there is uh, Dry Dry Pasta. The limes and the lemons are super easy to find. Basically because you kind of have to get them to continue the story, but just for the sake of completion I'm going to show you the uh, of how to get there uh, Over here there are two trees Usually uh, they both drop a different one, one drops a lime, the other one drops a lemon But if you get unlucky just again exit through the pipe and then come back in Okay, uh, maple syrup is... I'm not 100% sure if this is the only place that they sell it. I don't think it is, uh, but I believe this is the only place they sell live mushrooms. So yeah, both uh, live mushrooms and uh, maple syrup are both in the booth, booth shop. And I, I just show you how to get there. And you can buy both of them right here. For most of the recipes with berries, any berry works, but honestly the red berries are the easiest ones to get, so you might as well just go get them. Uh, they're the ones they're the ones straight uh, south, uh, sorry, straight east from here. You just kinda keep going right, uh, ignore the enemies of course, and, and as you can see we just kinda go here, smack this tree up here, and you get uh, through red berries. Like I said, any berry works, but these are the easiest ones to get. Now, that is almost every single ingredient, but there are two problems. One is uh, the jam and jelly, and the second one is the ultra mushrooms. 
Uh, there are enough to complete the recipe list uh, by this point. You only need uh, two Ultra Mushrooms and you need four Jam and Jelly. And you're able to get all of them before this specific point. I'm going to show you the scenes where I got both Jam and Jelly and the scenes where I got the Ultra Mushrooms from my Let's Play. Plus the ones that I looked up where to find them. Uh, but yeah, I did want to let you guys know these two are limited. So if you do get them, don't waste them. Because I did waste one before in one of the fights. And I highly regretted it. But yeah, uh, now back to the clip. The first gem in jelly you can get is by beating the quiz show with Princess Peach. So that's, uh, it, it, is ve it is very easy. It is very... Uh, put in your favor, so you just kind of have to get the questions right, and then you get a gem and jelly. I won anyway. So the 64 trivia quiz off was ascended. It is a great success. The winner is, wow, our unexpected guest, Princess Peach. Congratulations, Peach. Here's your prize. Got the gem and jelly. A bloody delicious snack restores 50 FP. When am I even going to have that much? Jesus Christ. The next jam and jelly you can find is right south of the Yoshi village. It is hidden behind this tree right here. There we go. Sadly I couldn't record this because I didn't have... Uh, I wasn't recording myself while I found this. But there is a jam and jelly in this tree right here that I'm showing. This tree is where you use the water stone to fill up uh, the water while you're trying to plant the seeds in the flower fields. So yeah, that's the next one you can find. Sorry that I don't have a proper recording of it, but yeah, that's the that's the third one. The one is the the one next to the next to the lake that we fill with the magic jewel. So yeah. The last uh, jam and jelly you can find is in this area right here. Is a hidden block. You have to use white to find it. Uh, yeah, this is where the small statue of the cow thing is. So yeah. Now we have to find uh, the ultra mushrooms, and there are there is one more than we need because uh, we only need two of them. But yeah, the first one you can find I actually miss because I. I mean, I don't know how anyone's supposed to understand this one, but yeah, you basically go to this area, you hit this block, and you need to hit it literally a hundred times. That's why you see me smacking it like a crazy person. Once you hit it a hundred times, a block with uh, the Ultra Shroom will appear. So, yeah, as you can see, it takes a little bit of time. Yep, just a tiny little bit of time, and eventually... Eventually, as someone says. And you can do your taxes while you're doing this thesis. Eventually, you'll get the uh, block right there. This is the one with the older shroom. The next, the next uh, Ultra Shroom is in a hidden block uh, above no, a normal block. Uh, I thought there was someone suspicious here, so that's why I use what in the let's play. So yeah, uh, this is where the next Ultra Shroom is. Ultra Shroom, 50, 50, 50 HP heal. Wow, nice. That's a little, a little excessive, but... Uh, the last Ultra Shroom you can get before this point in the game is... One that is in uh, this Toad House right here. Uh, you will get it after you beat the Ice Boss. Uh, all you have to do is just rest and the Ultra Shroom will appear alongside four other Shrooms. And it will only appear twice, it doesn't respawn. So yeah, this is the last one that appears. There were all these items. It was the weirdest thing. The floor was all wet and as if it snow had melted everywhere. Do you think someone left all these presents for you, Mario? Who would do that? Oh, was it Twink? Um, <clears throat> my apologies. Mushroom. Mushroom. Ultra mushroom. Mushroom. You got a mushroom. And finally, I do want to point out uh, if you miss anything, like if you miss a uh, super shroom or a uh, 
or uh, Jamming Jelly. Either way you can get them is through this little gacha piggy machine. I didn't understand how to use this before, but now I do. Just keep jumping on top of it and eventually they will give you, all the pigs will give you items, different items. The silver ones will give you a Jamming Jelly and the golden ones will give you uh, um, will give you an Ultra Shroom. Uh, so if you use any of your Yummy Jellies or, or, or Ultra Shrooms before this point, uh, which, yeah, which uh, it might happen, because uh, I already used one, uh, then th that's what, what you need to do is just keep pressing the button, uh, maybe grant some money in the, um, in the casino, and other than that, I think you'll be good. But yeah, this is extremely sped up because it is really slow. I will warn you about that. But yeah. This is just in case you miss any of those items and you really need one. Uh, all of this obviously is to complete the collection, to complete the entire thing before about before you get to Bowser's Castle. If you get to Bowser's Castle, there's a couple more gem and jellies around there and a couple more ultra shrooms. But if you want to just complete it and get it over with, then there you go. This this is how you do it. Also, do keep in mind that you can only pick up one item from here. Uh, basically, you have to get a gold pig, then spin 10 more times so the pig leaves, leaves the item, and then you can enter the place and grab the item. But that will make every other pig basically run away. And you don't really have enough time to pick up two items. Uh, I think you might if you're fast enough, but I am not sure. I would just rely on the fact that you can get one item from this. And that's it. Okay, we're back and we're going to make the first set of recipes. Uh, you're probably going, you're, you're gonna see some copies here of the ones that I made during my let's play because you know we are we we do have to we do have to show all of them might as well. So first off, an apple and a cake mix. Uh, yes. Also, I'm hopefully going to be putting. Uh, all the possible things that you can do with this recipe. I just chose to showcase and and use the ones that were easier to grab So there we go. We got an apple pie restores 5 HP and 15 FP All right next next we have a uh, gomot And cake mix All right He's gonna it's gonna be cooking Seems delicious. We got a big cookie resource 20 FP. Alright, next. A uh, Koopa Leaf and a uh, Go Mod makes, uh, if I remember correctly, this is a simple dish. Okay. Oh, a bland, a, a bland meal. Sorry. Different things, I suppose. Uh, an egg and a strange leaf. I mean, I might not. I'm doing this wrong. I might be doing this wrong. I thought it. I think it was an egg and cake mix. Huh? Boiled egg. I think that seems fine. Uh. Oh yeah, that's fine. The boiled egg and then the cake mix, just by itself. No, no, no. The cake mix just by itself. Uh, to make with the one, which is going to make the cake. There we go. All right. And that's the first set of recipes done. I'm going to go get the next batch. Okay, next set of recipes here. Let's go uh, again from bottom to top. A 
coconut and a cake mix. There we go. And that gets us. Tra la la la. Yeah, we're not getting gonna get sick of hearing that. Uh, that gets us a coco pop. Uh, 3 HP and 15, 15 FP. Okay, next up, uh, we have a strange leaf. And this is probably one of the best ones in the entire game. And a walk up bomb we can, that we can get pretty easily. Both of them we can get really easily. And it gives us something really fucking good. This is delicious, yeah. The deluxe fees. 40 HP, 40 FP. 40 HP, 40 H 40 FP. Oh my, yeah. It is a, a basically a full heal. Like an end game full heal. Alright, next, a strange sleeve. And a bolt shroom. Yep, here you go. That will make us... Don't exactly know what this is, but sometimes experiment in order to be great. That makes us a DC dial! Yay! Totally not something I can just purchase, but whatever. We need to we need it for the recipe. Next a fire flower. And an egg. Yep. I see he's gonna say the same thing about this. Here you are, the recipe is not bad. Oh! Egg missile, an egg bomb made with DC. Try to damage one enemy. How, by how much? I have no idea. Alright, next we have a cake mix and a vault shroom. Yep. That will get us. That will get us an electro pop. An electro pop that restores 15 FP and electrocutes us. Uh, basically, yeah. The same thing that the Vault Room does, plus 15 FP to heal. Okay, good. I'll be back with the next set of uh, ingredients. Okay, continuing with the recipes. We have actually quite a decent amount of stuff here. So, first off, a desert fruit with a strange leaf. That's gonna make a fire flower, if I remember this correctly. And it's exactly what it is. Yep, that's a fire flower. And then um a fire the fire flower that I just that I just made combined with a cake mix. Yep. That makes fire pop. Yep. After that, we grab just a mushroom. No, no, no. Just, just a mushroom. Yeah, make, make, make something with just a mushroom. Yep. That's the next one. Yeah, fry shroom. Okay, next up, we have uh, the flyer the fire flower, and the ice potato. Yep, there we go. Here you are, and we made frozen fries. Now, yeah, now just the egg. No, no, just the egg. I can, uh, yeah, I can make what we make just the egg. There we go. Okay. There we go. There's a fried egg. After that, we have a melon by itself. No, just a melon. La, la, la. All done, this was delicious here, please. Special shake, restores 20 FP. And now, 
with the special shake and the stinky herb. We cook those together. And if I remember right, this one's actually a pretty good one. It's a special it's a specialty. A healthy juice restores 40 FP. Yep. Come back anytime. I believe that's everything. Yep, that's everything for Race of the Drone. Be, be back with more ingredients in a second. Okay, then next set of recipes that we have here. Uh, first off, cake mix. Wait. Honey syrup! Yep. As you can see, I have a lot of honey syrup. Um, that's probably gonna need the same amount of this with uh, cake syrup, by the way. If it's not bad, here, please. Get the honey candy! Come back anytime. Okay. Uh, mushroom. I just a regular mushroom with honey syrup. Something special. Mm -hmm. Here you are. Recipe's not too bad. Here, please. Uh, get a shiny from. Restore 5 HP and 5 FP. Come back anytime. Yep. I need to cook something. Uh, yep. Super shroom. Wait. Again, honey syrup. It's not bad here, please. You got a honey, you got a honey super resource, 10 HP and 5 FP. Come back anytime. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Ultra Shroom with honey syrup. Yep. Here you are. You got the honey ultra. As you can see, if you have. Not that great, actually. Just the 50 FP of the Elder Shroom plus 5 FP, but we need it. We need it for completion's sake. And finally, just the Bullet Shroom by itself. No, 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 no. I don't want you to use another one. Make it with just the one. Which is this is the recipe that I used the most because it was just one for a 15 heal and 5 FP. So this was this is actually a really good recipe. But yeah. Alright, I'll be back with the, the the next set. Okay, we're back with more. Here we go. More cooking! Exciting cake mix. And a jamming jelly. Using the, the expensive ingredients here. This will make... A lollipop! Uh, well, a jelly pop. Yeah, we start 64, 64 FP. Okay, next up is a mushroom. Just a regular mushroom. And a yummy jelly. By the way, I know this is a waste of ingredients, really expensive ingredients, but you kinda have to. If you wanna complete the recipe list, you, you kinda have to do this. I kinda hate when I actually kinda hate when games force you to do that. But yeah, next a silver shroom and a jamming jelly. Yep. That gives us a jelly super. Next is Probably the probably the best item in the in the in the game in terms of healing. Super shroom, jam and jelly, ultra shroom. I mean, jam and jelly, and that gives us. It's probably gonna comment on. Oh, this is amazing. Here you are. The recipe is not too bad. Are you kidding? It's a 50 and 50. That is amazing. All right. And I think that's for this set. Yeah, we have a cake mix. And a Koopa Leaf. Please mix those together. And I believe this is a Cookie Cookie. Uh, yeah, Cookie Cookie. But yeah. Okay. There we go. Be back with the next set. 
Okay, we're back with the next set of recipes. So, first off, we just give him a Koopa Leaf. Just the Koopa Leaf. No, just the Koopa Leaf. There we go. Yeah. That would be good enough. He'll make you some Koopa Tea. There you go. Some Koopa Tea. After that, we need to give him a Koopa Leaf with some dried pasta. Yep. And that will give you the Koopasta, the pun, na the pun uh, name uh, food. Right? After that, we give him a lemon. And a egg mix. Yep. Here you go. There we go. The lemon candy. Alright. Uh, next, a lime. And a egg mix. And honestly, I don't know why these two are, to are actually different one is just straight up better than the other as you can see he's going to he's going to give me a uh, lime candy which is just five more fp healing like honestly it's just better but yeah uh, next up uh we have uh uh koopa leaf and a super shroom this is actually another really good recipe because this will net you those, th those things are not expensive at all, and they will net you a life room, which is a really, really good item. But yeah, again, be back with the next set of se next set of ingredients. Okay, next set of recipes right here. We have maple syrup with a mushroom. Yeah, these combinations are actually the the ones that maple syrup. The, the syrups and the jellies and the mushrooms are all pretty much the same. This is a ma this is a maple shroom. Thank you. What else? A maple syrup and a super shroom. Yep. Here you are a maple super. Next is an ultra shroom and a maple syrup. Then after that, oh, I didn't even show it to for for, for for too long there. Sorry. After that, we get a. Uh, we basically need to make garbage. Uh, you need to give him anything that he can't cook with or a wrong recipe. Just give him one of the attack items except for a fire flower and that should be good enough. Yeah, just make it with this one, yeah. Like a sleepy, sleepy ship or a thunder. I think any of that works. Yep. You do need a mistake f for the list of all the recipes to be complete, so yeah. Next up is just one gum nut. Which is also a really... No, 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 no. Don't fuck that up. Next up is just one gum nut. Which is actually a very good early one. A very good early recipe. Just so gum, nut, gum nut gives you an item that recovers 15 FP. That's pretty good early on. Uh, oh, sorry, 10. My bad. Next, uh, and we have to give him an ice potato. And no, 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 just the ice potato for fuck's sake. Jeez. Just the ice potato. No. There you go. Cook with the ice potato. And he will make a potato salad, I believe. Yeah, there we go. Potato salad. Uh, I like the happy smile there. I don't know why. Very odd. Anyway. I'll, and again, be back with the next ingredients. Oh, 
Okay, next couple recipes right here. We have a cake mix. And a mushroom. That is a very simple one. Double net us. The shroom cake. Alright, what's next? Uh, the life room. And the mushroom. Just a bunch of mushroom power, all in one. There you go, the shroom steak. 30 and 3 HP, 10 FP. Okay, that's what's next. Uh, red berry. And a strange leaf. Yep. Uh, let's give us a sleepy sheep. Because that totally makes sense. Next up. Just right past them. No. Just right past them. That will give us some spaghetti. Nobody touches my spaghetti. Anyway. Next, just a fire flower. It will give us. A spicy soup, which is pretty terrible, honestly. Next, and I believe last for now, yep, a strange leaf. And a cake mix. That will net us... A strange cake. Yeah, I, I really would not eat this, honestly. Yeah. Alright, next set of ingredients coming right up. Okay then, uh, we have more recipes here. Uh, first up, just a honey syrup. No, 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 literally just a honey syrup. Yep. Just a honey syrup will give us... A uh, super soda! Alright. That one's actually pretty bad, honestly. Uh, cake mix. And a life room. This gave us a really good one, if I remember correctly. Let's see, it gives us... A switch room, yeah, 30 and 20. That That's pretty good. That's a very good mid-game one that I, that I should have used more. Uh, next up is just a lime. Uh, no. Just a lime. With that, we get... A tasty tonic! Okay. Then after that, a dry shroom. A dry fruit, I mean. And a bull shroom. And we get Thunder Rage. Next up is a, a mushroom and a gum nut. That will give us a ball shroom. Yeah, I'm I'm aware. It's weird, but we kind of have to do that. Then the melon. And a cake mix. Here you are. And we get a Yoshi cookie. 15 and 15. That's a pretty mad one. For the whole lady in the game, you can get those. That's a pretty mid one. But, fair enough. 
We only have one more, so I'll go get the ingredient and I'll be right back. Okay, and with this, we have the final recipe that we need. Dry pasta. And a dry fruit. This is also a really good one. It's a little harder to get than most other stuff because of the dry fruit. But it's also, it's also a very good one. So... Here you go, a yummy meal! Okay. Well, we didn't get any problem for it, but we should be able to go to our house right now. And check... That we have all the recipes. Unless I fuck something up. Which would be annoying, but... Please, for the love of God, don't let me fuck something up. Luigi, what's up? Let's see. Uh... Uh, tasty recipes, 50 out of 50. Okay, I got all the recipes. Wait. Chuck Wismos quizzes, 64 out of 84? What? Um... Yeah, I'm not gonna deal with that. I'm not gonna worry about that at the moment, honestly. Uh... I'm probably going to worry... I might worry about that next time. We'll see. But yeah, that takes care of all the recipes. And with that, with uh, the way that I make the video, that should help anyone that had any problems with uh, making... Finding the items and using them. But yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It took a lot of effort to make, so... Normally I don't usually say all three things, but if you could subscribe, leave a like, and make a comment about if this helped you out. It would really help me out because this was a, lo a lot of effort. But yeah, hope you guys have a great day and I will see you on the next video. Yeah. Again, thank you so much for watching.